If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, then why not visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial. So the Australian Open is upon us and one of the uh, great things about tennis is that um, it's incredibly variable. So you'll be surprised it doesn't act the same way as you would see in some of the other sports, but you'd be surprised because it's a, effectively a two-runner market, just how much the market moves dramatically in one direction and the other. What I'll try and do is uh, a couple of tennis-related videos for you, but I just wanted to highlight to you the fact that the Australian Open is upon us, and that will present an opportunity for you, especially when um, the other sport is a little bit quieter, such as racing, <clears throat> to give it a go. Uh, get on there and have a go at tennis. Now the things you need to be aware of on a tennis tournament is that it's seeded. So basically you tend to get uncompetitive matches and it's geared up so that the top two seeds will meet in the final. Top two seeds this year Andy Murray and Novak Djokovic. So the anticipation is that they will end up meeting in the final. So in terms of the winner odds on the uh, competition you'll find they're probably at or similar levels and they make up the bulk of the market because they're expected in round one to meet some qualifiers who they will absolutely make mincemeat of and then as they progress through the rounds then um, you know they will get gradually more and more competitive and harder but they are expected to reach the final. Now one of the problems that you have with the Australian Open is that it tends to take place um, late at night or very early in the morning so you have to make a decision about uh, how would you get involved in that and there can be some really great markets first thing in the morning but uh, one of the things you may want to try is to uh, look at the automation capabilities of BetAngel because BetAngel is perfect for trading tennis. You not only have the ability to completely automate your tennis trades and if you go into the forum, I'll move over here and you'll, you'll see an image of the forum, there are a list of automation files you can download for popular strategies such as trying to find a break serve or a break point or whatever and so on and so forth. But um, you can also add individual markets to watch lists, get live scores coming through on those, trade off of those live scores using either Excel or the advanced automation within Guardian. Um, but obviously, you know, that's of huge benefit. But because of the time difference between Australia and here, you may find that um, if you want to test a strategy or uh, try and do something, you may be asleep or you may not want to get up early. Um, so therefore, it makes sense to automate that, which is what Betangel, you know, is brilliantly designed to do on tennis. We actually have a whole list of tennis trading videos um, which I will move over here and you can click over here to spawn a list of tennis trading videos. But also um, obviously the live score feature of BetAngel is perfect for this as well so you can get um, and you'll notice this the further away the tournament is if you tune the live score to come through faster and faster you'll find very often that um, the, the score will update on BetAngel and then you'll be watching it on Sky or something and you'll see a few seconds later it will update on there. So you can get a very, very fast live score feed from there. But better than that, you can trade it automatically. And the automation isn't there just for doing one particular trade or an, another. Um, you could actually get it to trigger events. So if, if, for example, in the first round in the Grand Slam, you've got like four billion matches and then in the second round, you've got half as many, half as many, half as many until you end up obviously at the final. And um, so the strategy you use there will be very different from the strategy you're likely to use in more competitive matches later on. But what you can do is you can load up all those markets into Guardian and you can actually get the advanced automation to scan through those matches looking for key points. So you could say to it, again this automation file is available on the forum, you could say um, I'm looking for a match where um, somebody is a, a set and a breakdown. Uh, send me an alert when that happens, you know, uh, whistle or play a sound or switch me to that market or both. So there's actually a huge amount of things that you can do. And whether you want to automate all of it, some of it, or you just want to use it to alert you to opportunities within the market. Um, you've got the Tennis Trader tool as well. So Tennis Trader is a neat bit of kit where you can say, so for example, I look at a tennis match and um, based upon a number of factors, I can tell on average where um, the, the low point in the match is likely to be. So what I do is I fire up Tennis Trader, assess where that low point is going to be on average and then assess what score that would be through Tennis Trader. So I actually like reverse engineer the match to understand what would create that opportunity within the match. And then if I go to actively trade a match then I'm anticipating that that's likely to happen. So yeah, Tennis Trader gives you loads of pricing 
uh, capability and, and the ability to model the market and understand uh, you know, if you should get in or out of a trade based upon the level of risk and the potential payoff. The advanced automation allows you to automate scores. Um, you can also use that to alert you to individual uh, characteristics within a market. So if there's a score line or a certain scenario or setup you're looking for, it can alert you to that or switch you straight to that market. You've got live scores that can come through incredibly fast. And you can also use the watch list if you want to split up and partition um, the markets if you're busy trading something else. So you can use the watch list to switch in and out of markets really, really quickly. And you can also do that all on Excel in terms of score lines and so on and so forth. And custom code your own stuff using VBA. So a huge range of features. And the automation and other, other automated stuff is very beneficial for the Australian Open because of the time difference. So, um, yeah, I suggest if you've never done tennis before, you get involved, have a play around. You don't have to use full stakes. You can use practice mode as well. Um, and have a, a play with a few different strategies. Um, view the tennis trading uh, playlist that we've got available, which will talk you through the, those individual features that I mentioned already. But the Australian Open is a good opportunity to get involved in tennis at the beginning of the year. Um, get a grip on all of the things that you want to do and build on that ready for when the European uh, season you know, comes into being and uh, throughout the rest of the year. So, you know, start the tennis season, uh, give yourself a good opportunity to do something with it this year and, and get yourself off to the best possible start using all of those tools.